Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, I'm going to show you, uh, just increase that a bit there. It's early in the morning, so I might look a bit rough and I need a haircut, but we can't get a haircut in the UK because of the COVID crisis, but hopefully soon. Anyway, enough of that. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a network storage device to your Chrome OS. Chromebook or Chromebox. You might not have, you might already have a network attached storage um, device, or you may not. If not, you know, whether you want one or not, it's a different thing. The good thing about a network storage uh, drive is that it's not then just accessible by your Chromebook. And unlike an external hard drive where it is accessible to more computers, but it would mean taking it out of each computer and put, attaching it to whatever computer you wanted to use the files from. So um, the only other options you've got is obviously we've got the cloud computing, which is great, but you might also want your own network storage at home as well. And they're really easy to set up. Um, I think I've got a WD my passport if i remember correct i've had it for quite a few years now um, but i wanted to access the files on that hard drive one because i back up files onto that and then when i back up files onto my network storage hard drive i can then back up them files through an image it, it takes a copy of the image so if i ever have problems with it in the future I can easily access my files again so it's a really good way of adding extra storage for your Chromebook, and then, you know, it's not really extra storage for your Chromebook, extra storage for your home, essentially, but it's how your Chromebook then accesses that storage. It's actually quite easy to do. Um, so I'll just quickly show you. If I'll just move that there, drag that down a bit. So if you click on your files there, now I've, I think I've linked mine now, I don't think they're there as standard, I'm not too sure. So if you don't have them down there, just go to the start menu there, click up there, and you should find your files located somewhere. Mine, I believe, I'll put them all together, system, I'll put them under. But essentially you're looking for this here, files, okay? So click on that. And then that will bring up your files there. As you can see, you've got audio, images, video, my files, which is downloads, my save downloads, which I've created that folder myself, Linux files, play files, and you've got your Google Drive. Now, to add a network drive, all you do is click up here and then click on Add New Service. And the service that you're adding is SMB File Share. Click on that and it will then search your Wi Fi network for any network drives. And as you can see, I've called mine Dan's Home Network. Nothing else we could call it. I think that's perfectly fine to call. Um, and then you can see here, Dan is a share. So with network drives, they, they, you have something called a share, which is a set, essentially similar, it's the same as a folder, but it's called a share. So there's different shares depending on, you know, maybe who's using it, um, or if you have backups in different shares, it all, all depends. So here you can see I've got Dan, and here at the bottom I've got Dan's Toshiba one terabyte. And what that is, that's an extra hard drive that I've got attached to my network storage device, and that regularly takes backups as well for my network storage device. I also have other backups for a network drive. You'd need to look into how you do backups for your network drive. Obviously, you want to keep it as safe as you can. Um, and then all you do is click on one of these. So I will just click on the backup. Press add. Obviously, if you've got your username and password, you may have to type them in here. And then press add. And then you'll see it's an extra option at the bottom here, Dan's Toshiba. Click on that and you'll have all your files from your network drive. And obviously you can open the files from there, you can delete the files from there and you can save files to there. And this will stay there, that won't be removed now. So every time you turn on your um, Chromebook, you'll have the option of that. If you want to remove it, it's just a simply a right click 
and close and it's gone. So yeah, it's really easy to add network storage to your Chromebook. I hope the video helped. If it does, please like the video below and subscribe to the channel for more useful, handy videos about the Chromebook and Chrome OS. Thanks for watching. Bye.